The Lord bless you for being in church. I'm going to transition in a moment. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite a complicated transition to do. Uh, uh, in October, it's going to be worship daily. Amen. Worship daily for 21 days. Worship daily. And every day, no services. We're just going to have our lunch hour. But in the evenings, it's going to be worship. From Monday to Friday, worship. To Sunday evening, worship. Amen. For 21 solid days, marathon, back to back. So Wednesday evening service is going to be pure worship. Mm. Just experience what we just experienced. Did you experience the presence of God? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Amen. All right. I have little time to share with you all that I've prepared. <laughs> Probably I'll just take it to Sunday. Amen. Amen. Preparing for a long fast. That's the title of this message. Preparing for what? A long fast. A long fast. Amen. Amen. So let's begin with what a fasting is. A fasting is the age-old spiritual exercise that invites mortal men into the place of experiencing the realm of deity. Grandma, listen. <laughs> fasting <laughs> is the age-old practice that invites mortal men. Do you know who mortal men are? You are mortal men. Invites mortal men to experience the realm of what? Gods. Amen? Amen? Anytime you engage in fast, it's not only a physical exercise, it's a spiritual exercise that gives you access to the corridors of gods. All right? I'm going to prove that to you very soon. The principle of fasting is denial. Say it with me. The principle of fasting. Say no. Say after me. The principle of fasting, the principle of fasting is what? Denial. denial. Say it one more time. The principle of fasting, the principle of fasting is, denial. is denial. So denial so so that means if you are fasting and you cannot deny pleasure you are not fasting you cannot be fasting and be enjoying sexual pleasure you've defeated the principle of denial say it one more time the principle of fasting, principle of fasting is, denial. is denial so for example if your favorite food is coffee. You love coffee. Or you love beans, gobe. Or you love banguen bebe. Or you love samo. You love shawarma. If you are fasting, all right? And you can you can eat a food that is not your pleasure and deny a food that is your pleasure. For example, you can fast your phone because your phone gives you more pleasure than food. Are you here? Yes. Are you here? The principle of fasting is what? Denial. Amen? Amen? So you are supposed to look out for the thing that gives you pleasure and deliberately deny it. Amen? 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 Well, it just turns out that food happens to give everyone pleasure. Food happens to give everyone what? Pleasure. Chai. Come and see people with chaco chicken. Enjoy chaco chicken. The other day I was here when a, a certain wife brought the certain husband. Chaco chicken and parata. Hey, I said wives and husbands. Well, what to do? <laughs> Hallelujah. And then they enjoyed it right here. 
Hey, our die we go. Amen. Hallelujah. That food is nicer than you making it. You know when your partner is in town, decides to buy some food, come and surprise you at home. I say, God, you come and let's eat. That one is nicer than you say. When you're coming, buy this. That one is not nice. Right? Yeah. You know, the one that she or he buys surprisingly and comes to give you. And then he breaks it, then the Lord whispers to you, fast, they will over. <laughs> you will cast and buy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen, fleshly desires were not meant to be evil or sin. When the body desires anything, it indicates that the body is working normally. Another year waiting at the dog. Your fleshly desire, desire for food, desire for sex, desire for attention, desire for emotion, desire for help, desire for any other thing, they were not designed to be evil. But now, anytime we desire such things, we are seen as evil men and women. True or false? In your state right now, when you desire sex, Huh? It is sin in your state because your wife is not here. <laughs> you are single. Two things that qualify all of you here, except of you. If your husband is here, raise your hand. If your wife is here, raise your hand. Oh, your wife is not here. She's back. No, she's right when she's not back. Oh, you are in the same room. <laughs> if I had asked this question last week. <laughs> but now your status is changed. God can change the story of a man. <laughs> wow. Last week was something else. This week, all of a sudden, you wake up doubly. I prophesy over your life. Amen. It's the same way you wake up. Yes, your life will double in substance. Yes. Yes. No, no, believe this. Vera, I watched your video. I watched a video when I was here. It's on Facebook. And in that video, I was telling Vera that Vera, your life will change. I just watched it today. I was telling her, Vera, your life will change. She was sitting right at the back there in this same room. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> when she was sharing her testimony, I nearly cried. I know this lady, she would do anything for money. But this is a proof and a testament that the word of God transforms men. Amen. The word of God. It transforms men from the inside out. No judgment. Keep preaching the word. Went I love the testament. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep hearing. The word will transform you. This tells me what we are speaking on this pulpit is pure. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Imagine me preaching prophecy. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. There will be no transformation. This is a Nigerian lady, sir. We know us. Nigeria, we know us. <laughs> you know, we know ourselves. Did you not hear the testimony of the guy who came here? He says, at the point where I was, I would do anything to get the money. He confessed it here. I would do anything. And I vowed where the solution will come, I will serve that thing. He messages me every day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And he's truly serving it. Thank God, God came through for him. Amen. He would have given his soul to the devil. Showed me a lot of which doctors he has messaged. Sent money to them. I said, delete it now. Delete it now. Many have come to me, sir, pray for my business. I asked, what business are you doing? I'm on the street or I'm selling. I said, I can't pray for this job. If you ask me to pray that God will change it, I can do that. What I'm trying to say is that when you speak the word of God, it changes a man. Amen. And I am so glad. I, I nearly wept. Hallelujah. 
Are you here? Yes, sir. So I was saying that our fleshly desires were not designed to be evil. But what happened? What happened? <clears throat> I said, when the body <laughs> desires anything, it indicates that what? It's working properly. Oh, before I forget, I ask that everybody bring book and paper to come and write. Next week, I will stand at that door. Here is your book. Here is your pen. Teacher. Or if you have a notepad on your, then you show me, sir, this is my notepad I will be writing. Yeah, you show me, this is my notepad I will be writing. Hallelujah. Amen. How can you be transformed if you're not taking notes? Amen. So next week, uh, uh, Kebe and uh, Patricia, if someone walks in, show me book, show me paper. <laughs> If they don't, tell them to go home. We don't need your kind in this church. Oh, I'm, on, I'm honest. Tell them to go home. We don't need your kind in this church. Go somewhere else. Hallelujah. Book and pen or notepad to write. Things like this you should be writing. Our three, our three dimensional desires, desire of the flesh, Desire of the soul, desire of the spirit were intended to be in perfect sync. See, these are the kind of things you write. Did you hear what I said? There are three dimensional desires. The desire of the flesh, the desire of the soul, and the desire of the spirit. Desire of the flesh is food, sex, and uh, the desire to be fit and strong and healthy. Then the desire of the soul are desires like, like uh, attention, like care, love. The desire of the spirit is towards God, to please and live for God. Did you see these three dimensional <laughs> desires? How many dimensional desires do we have? Three. What are they? Desire of the flesh, desire of the soul, desire of the spirit. Amen? Amen? And I said... They were designed by God to be in perfect sync. Amen? But what happened? Let's read Genesis chapter 3, verse 6. Genesis 3, verse 6. Genesis 3, verse, chapter 3, verse 6. At least you should open your Bible on your phone. Don't fold your arms and be looking at me. Genesis 3, verse 6. Genesis 3, 6 says... When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was... When the woman did what? Saw. Saw. She did what? Saw. She saw. Mm. Yesterday I was walking in the street and I was hoping that God would make me blind. Yeah. It was a strange prayer. And when I was praying, I was hoping it doesn't come through. But in my heart, I wanted it. Because my eyes were seeing too many nonsenses. Mm. Taking my spirit off course. <clears throat> Honestly, walking from union to God, I wish you make me blind. <laughs> and I remember, I remember uh, a joke that said, "I have made a covenant with my eye." No wonder he made a covenant with his eye. So distracting. So distracting. So distracting. God will help us. God will help us. But when I'm walking without my glasses, I'm happier. You know why? Without my glasses, I cannot see far. Right? And I cannot see clearly. I see blur. Alright, so I, I, I like it like that because I can I can I just walk through, I can recognize anything. I prefer walking without. Glasses. But I like my glasses. <laughs> 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 for teaches. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey. Now, the point, the reason I'm saying this, it says, when she saw Yourself. your eyes, the desire of this eye. Mm. Read, read, read. When the woman saw that. When the, she saw that. The fruit of the tree. The fruit of the tree. Was good. Was good. Food. Mm -hmm. Good for food? Yes. Sir. And what? And pleasing to the eye. And pleasing to the eye. And also desirable for gaining wisdom. And desirable for gaining wisdom. She did what? She took some and ate it. Sir, the fact that it is pleasing to your eye does not mean you should touch it. Let me say that again. 
The fact that it is pleasing to your eye does not mean you should watch it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What I'm saying is that, please take your seat for a moment. The three dimensional desires, desire of the flesh, desire of the soul, desire of the spirit, were meant to be in sync, just like the Godhead are in sync. But the devil distorted that equilibrium. The devil messed up that balance. How did he mess it up? He appealed to the desire of the flesh. Amen? Amen. He did what? He appealed to the, to the desire. desire of the flesh. And this lady who likes good things. Please, if you are a lady and you don't like good things, raise your hands. Obviously. Everyone likes good things. I will bring Gucci bag right now and say, Oh, me, I don't like Gucci bag. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this then brought a constant battle for dominion between the three dimensions. When the devil distorted the equilibrium of the three dimensional desires. Remember, the three dimensional desires are desire of the flesh, desire of the soul, desire of the spirit. Of the spirit. They were designed to be in sync. They were designed to be in balance. But the devil came and distorted that. How did he distort it? He appealed to our flesh, and our flesh went for it. Since then, our flesh has been in battle with everything else to take dominion. Are you following this? Yes. I'm bringing it to fasting. Why we fast? Why we fast? And because our flesh has been in battle to take dominion. Oh, why is it that it is when you want to fast, that you become hungry. Yes. Paul says, I am a wretched man. When things like this are happening in me, it, 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 it is no longer me. There is a law that works in me. So he says, I can't help myself. I need help. So he cried and said, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me from the law of sin and death. <clears throat> you missed it. Kavala. Well, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So the progression is this. God created perfect desires in us. The devil messed it up and appealed to our flesh. Our flesh then began to take dominion. Let me show you. Galatians chapter 5 verse 17. Read quickly. Galatians chapter 5 verse 17. He says. Galatians chapter 5. Yes. Verse 17. He says. He says. He says yes. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit. For the flesh desires what is contrary. Did you see that? Mm. Your flesh is always fighting your spirit. Your flesh is what? Always, always fighting. fighting your spirit. Yes, sir. Read on. And the spirit what is contrary to the sinful The spirit is also fighting. fighting. So there's always a fight. fight. Did you see that? Yes, no, can you see that? You Take your seat for a moment. Thank you. There is a battle between your flesh and your spirit. Now, when there's a battle between the flesh and the spirit, the soul suffers. <laughs> Is that when two elephants fight, who suffers? The ground suffers. So, so the, 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 the flesh and the spirit are fighting. The soul is somewhere there. It's like your mind says, this guy, don't love him. Your heart says, here we go. <laughs> this is your heart. Are we... Your mind says, oh boy, don't go. This girl will chop your money. You go, chop my money. Chop my money. <laughs> chop my money. <laughs> I don't, okay. Okay. <laughs> I told you that joke before. Uh, <laughs> the guy was sitting in, in, in class. The lecturer was lecturing. Lecturer was lecturing. And then one lady walked in like this. Then the guy, the guy sitting in front was watching. Lecture turned to him and said, ah, you are watching, Botun. Ask me, where is my money? Ide Botun. Where is my car? <laughs> where are my houses? Be chasing, Botun. You will see, Pepe. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The flesh is 
fighting the spirit. Are you seeing the progression? Yes, sir. Are you seeing the progression? Yes, Galatians chapter 5 verse 17. Yes. There is always a battle. Now, fasting then becomes the solution to giving dominance to the spirit. Mm. Do you see the progression? Mm. Fasting now becomes the help that the spirit needs to take dominion. The reason is this. The spirit is gentle. The spirit is not aggressive. But the flesh is aggressive. The flesh is Nigerian. <laughs> Lord have mercy on us. <laughs> the, the flesh is Putin. <laughs> the flesh is aggressive. What I want, I want now. You will give it to me or else I will torment you. Hallelujah. But the spirit continues to whisper. Continues to whisper. Cool. He will say fast this week. And that is all he will say. But then the flesh says, that McDonald's, that shawarma, uh, Papa Fridge is cooking this Sunday. He will cook some nice food. You will come to Buzz's house. You can't miss that food. He told you he will prepare some this measure. The flesh says we are going for it. But spirit had told you fast. Once, quiet. Hallelujah. So then, fasting becomes the help the spirit needs to gain dominance. Let me show you Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. Look at it. Galatians 5 6. Are you following the teaching so far? Galatians 5 verse 16. Look at it. So I say, live by the spirit. Live by the spirit. And you will not gratify the desire of See, do you see that? Yes, sir. Do you see that? Yes, sir. Wow. It's so it's clearly there. For you to overcome this flesh, take your seat for a moment. For you to overcome this flesh, live by the spirit. For you to overcome this flesh, do what? Live by the spirit. Hallelujah. Let me ask you, have you noticed? This scripture is so simple. Let me explain to you. Live by the spirit, you're not gratifying the divine the desires of flesh. Have you noticed? Anytime you take on a spiritual responsibility, you become spiritual. But when you draw back from spirituality, when you drop out from coming to church, you go into no everything becomes normal. The secret for sin festering is when you hide in the dark. Sin continues to fester. But once you expose it to light, sin itself will run away. You don't need to stop, it will run away. Hallelujah. So when you take on spiritual responsibility, like you are coming to church, like you are taking part in activities, you become spiritual automatically. Is it not true? true sir. Talk to me, is it not true? Very true, sir. true. You become what? It's so simple. Walk in the spirit and the flesh will run away. Hallelujah. Amen. Walk in the spirit. And, and, and then the thing is, when you are, even if you are engaging in the flesh, your conscience will be alive. But if you're not spiritual, if you're not engaging in spiritual activity, your conscience is dead. In, yeah. In, iniquity. Inside quitties. That's what iniquity means. Hidden agendas. Things that only you, you know. You look at the mirror, you are ashamed yourself of yourself. But you walk out from there, you go and repeat the same thing. Giving yourself excuses in mind. This is why you need to fast. Why? Because fasting gives your spirit dominance over the flesh. Iniquity. Inside quitties. In, inside. Iniquity. <laughs> That one nobody knows. Hmm? Masturbation. Uh, touching yourself. These things that nobody knows, only you know. Uh, 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 stealing, stealing, pilfering. Hmm? Pilfering. Lying. Cigar. <laughs> yeah. This one, yeah. People do it in the bathroom. Huh? What are some of the names? Some of the iniquities we do. Gossip. Huh? Gossip. Yeah. Logambo. Beer. What else? Beer. Some people do it. Yeah, okay. Some people do it and say, yeah. It's not for you. Give me the iniquity. Name some iniquity. Help me with some iniquity that you are doing. For the kid. Which one are you doing? Which one? For the kid. For the kid. Yeah. 
For fornication. Fornication. Ini, 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 quitty. If you don't know, maybe let me. If you don't know that fornication is iniquity, okay, now you know, official. You know that fornication is uh, iniquity. If you don't know, if pastor has not said it on pulpit before, today, please know. Fornication is said with me. Fornication. Fornication. Open your mouth. See, it's heavy on your mouth. <laughs> it's heavy. And why you do that? And why you do that? <laughs> Say with me. Say with me. Fornicate. Fornicate. Is iniquity. Is iniquity. He did sin. Inside quitty. Hallelujah. What then is fornicate? Fornicate. <laughs> is sleeping with a woman you are not married to. Forni. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> it is what? Iniquity. If we have not said it today, we've never said it in GPCC. This is it. Today it is official. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But 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 this is what will help you. Walk in the spirit. And you know, gratify the desires of the flesh. Those of you who are living together, get a ring. Talk to the mom. Put it on it. Legalize the action. <laughs> and let your conscience be free. <laughs> but then be prepared for the future consequences. <laughs> if because of five minutes pleasure, you want to mortgage your life, okay, but take an action. You must take an action. You must take an action. You must take an action. Listen to me, guys. Ladies, the guy is sleeping with you. He will not think of marrying you. He's getting everything for free. For free. For free. If you mess up right now, he will leave you. He will go and get another. Yeah. Same, same thing. Same cycle. Easy, cry. Easy, easy. Am I lying? Am I lying? I'm spoiling the righteousness. I want righteousness to reign. I want us to do the right things. Hallelujah. Amen. Get, get a ring. What? 150 dirham? Call the parent. And say, please, I'm liking your, your baby. Oh. <laughs> it, you, know, you must know it will not be easy. The parents might not easily accept. But take the action anyway. Amen? Amen. Amen. Am I speaking to people? Yes, sir. Take the action. Oh, I wish they were out that projected the latest <laughs> wedding here. Please, we need TV. Go and buy us TV. We need TV to project here, please. Amen. Anyone who is touched by the Holy Spirit, buy us TV. We need to project here. So we project out of projected our wedding that we did we did here. Beautiful. Simple. 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 Night. We were only three. We were three. Three of us. Three of us. We did wedding. We did engagement here. Right here. Three of us. Three of us. Oh, tomorrow, uh, mid midnight prayer. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I'll just stop. I'll, wow. I'll not mention names. Wow. But if I see both of you like this, I'll ask you, have you told their parents? <laughs> have you bought the ring? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Now, 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 the, 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 the situation is that you are not a man. You're not a woman enough. Okay? If you, are, you don't have the balls. You have the balls for the girl. You don't have the balls for the parents. <coughs> Call them. Listen. You have the balls for the girl. You don't have the balls to call the parents. You're not a man. You're a boy. Kabele You know these are the kind of things that you know that like this thing. If I get down like this, way, this is my father. <laughs> if I were involved in thing, things like this, I would never have the audacity to say that. It says you can only judge when your righteousness has been made full. So these things keep me aright. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Uh huh. So when you come here, you can. 
The thing that helped me was that I, 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 when I come to church, I don't want to feel uncomfortable when pastor speaks. You understand? Oh, no, 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 no. See that thing? Huh. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. All right? All right, let me move on. We are talking about fasting. Hey, Pastor Isaac. Pastor Isaac. Now, now people are relieved now. People are relieved. Uh, to move on. Stay here. Hiya. Iniquity. Insequity. Insequity. I'm telling you. That's the name. Hallelujah. No, no, no. But please, 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 guys. It's easy. It's easy. Call the parents. Reach out to the parents. Right? Amen. See us. We'll talk to them. Amen. Amen. But if you are in a past relation, make sure those things, those ones are broken, taken care of. You have a you have a wife back home that you ran away from. <laughs> if you have a wife you run away from, a boyfriend you run away from, sort it out properly. Amen. Amen. Don't let a curse follow you. Sort it out properly. All right. Amen. And then get one nice Dubai girl here. Yeah. Get one nice Dubai boy. Amen. Start life. I sent a quote the last time there to you, uh, Bishop uh, Oyedepo. He says, "You don't, you don't grow, you don't grow, uh, you don't grow great to marry well. You marry well to be great." Did you see that? Yeah. You marry well to be great. Hallelujah. And ladies with expectations t twice my height. Look at my height, and you have expectation towards my height. How can I be without expectation? Hmm? And ladies who have expectations like this, please lift them up a little. Hallelujah. Amen. It's as if we are talking about marriage seminar. We are talking about fasting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I wanted to share with you. <coughs> so, so, so let's recap. Let's recap. Yes, sir. Let's recap. We said that our desires. Our three-dimensional desires mm. were, were created by God to be in perfect sync. Yes, yes. These three-dimensional desires are desire of the flesh, desire of the soul, desire of the spirit. They were supposed to be in perfect sync. But what happened? The devil messed it up when he suggested to Eve by appealing to her fleshly desires. That then gave dominion of the flesh over all other desires. So there came a battle, right? There became a battle between the spirit and the flesh. But then we had a solution. The solution came and told us that if we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. You saw that? Yes. You saw that? So then, fasting then becomes that solution that gives the spirit dominance over the flesh. Yes. That's why we need to fast. And I wanted to share with you the five C's of fasting. I will not, I will not go into detail. I'll do it on Sunday, but let me share them with you. The five C's of effective fasting. Number one, consecration. Number two, commitment. Number three, composure. Don't want to repeat them. Number four, consistent. Number five, compassion. The five C's of effective fasting are number one, <coughs> consecration. Say with me, consecration. consecration. Number two, commitment. commitment. Number three, composure. composure. Number four, consistency. Number five, compassion. The five C's of effective fasting. Hallelujah. I don't know where I'll continue this. Maybe Sunday, but I don't know. But I had a lot to share with you. Amen. The five C's of effective fasting. We have consecration. We have commitment. We have composure. We have consistency. And we have compassion. Hallelujah. As we prepare for October, the 21 days fast. I hope you begin to prepare your mind, prepare your body, prepare your soul. One of the things I wanted to share with you was that if the way to prepare towards a long fast is if you take breakfast from now, you should be skipping breakfast. Do you understand that? Yes, <clears throat> Start skipping breakfast so that by the time we get ready, You'll be, your body would have adjusted 
for it. Amen? Amen? So if you've been taking uh, lunch, right, start skipping it. Amen? Start doing what? Skipping it. So that your body begins to adjust. Amen? And all of you know the spiritual and the physical effects of fasting. I don't want to go into that. Maybe, maybe not. But please prepare to get ready for these 21 days. There's going to be so much concentrated spiritual activity. Concentrated spiritual activity. We're going to be worshiping for 21 days. You think that after 21 days of worship, your life will remain the same? No. <clears throat> what? We are gathering 21 men of God from across the world. Different graces to be ministering to you for 21 solid days consecutively. You think? Your life will remain the same after such an encounter. <laughs> Upon that, you are fasting. The devil is in trouble this yes. October. The devil is in trouble. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm happy for you. I'm excited for, uh, about what God is about to do in your life. I pray that you have the grace. You have the tenacity. I pray that you have the confidence. To prepare for this fast and be a partaker Amen. of it. Please be upstanding. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth.